so today is going to be a very special tutorial. I am going to do the mystery box challenge and what I mean by that is I got this box from Alinda and in here are items that I have to use in this tutorial so I already opened it and I little had a little peek inside and super excited so first I'm going to show you what's in the box and then the tutorial will start so The Ritchie effects, prosthetic, the terminal one, we got the bold cap, we got the lenses, we got this totally awesome little palette, oops, and we got the black eyeliner from Ben Nye. So thank you so much, Linda. This is really awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna make something cool with it. I'm gonna turn off the camera and prepare a little bit. I need my skin glues, I need my contact lens fluid, I need my liquid latex and I need some blood and some other things. But I'll be right back and then we're gonna start with the tutorial. So see you soon. Hey friends! Welcome! Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any uploads. Okay, let's start. So, of course, we need to prep, so I need to remove my makeup, tie my hair back and I will pop on a, a wig cap. And I do that, of course, off camera and I have to pop in one of these beautiful lenses. Be right back. Here we are, I've got my bald cap on. I used a spirit gum this time to glue it down. I only need one lens and I covered my eyebrow to protect it from all the glue that I'm gonna use. Now I'm gonna see how this prosthetic is fitting me and it's a tiny bit big for me, but hey, we're gonna make it work. And I found these LED lights. Now I didn't find it. I was supposed to use it for a other tutorial, but it's perfect for this one as well. So I had to try and get it inside of the eye of the prosthetic and I did that with some medical tape. Let's see how that is going to look. So I have to hide the wire. I can't see through it now. There's a hole in there, but my light is blocking it so I only have one eye so I'm going to glue the prosthetic down with some spirit gum from Ben Nye and I do that off camera so here we have it and now I have some leftovers from the bald cap and I'm gonna use that to hide the wire so I glue that down with some spirit gum as well and now it's time for some liquid latex and I'm gonna seal and hide the edges of the prosthetic and I use a disposable paintbrush. Don't use your good brushes because you can throw those away and you don't want that. So use a disposable brush or a sponge or your fingers and you also can use a q-tip. So after a couple of layers of latex, of course I dry them with the blow dryer in between. And having fun, just singing along with some 82, 80s tunes. After a couple of layers, I dust the whole thing down with some Meron setting powder. And then it's time for Ben Nye's caster sealer and I'm gonna cover my prosthetic with it and my bald cap just a thin layer is enough and I use this to make sure that the, I don't have too much of a color difference between my prosthetics and my own skin so I dab it all over my head with a sponge and I use the blow dryer to let it dry and of course I remove the shine with some color set powder 
and a brush and I don't swipe over the um, the powder I'm sorry I lost my words but I dab it on then I'm gonna take a I use a full coverage foundation shake it before I use it and then I use my beauty blender to apply it and I use two layers of this foundation it takes a while and I use a concealer brush to get to all the little edges of the prosthetic to get a nice even result so I use two layers then of course to set everything I use the color set powder from Meron and a little tip if you have a big fluffy brush use a bit of product then tap it so it gets into the bristles and you have you have more powder in your brush to use so now it's time for this beautiful little palette and I'm going to use the reds and of course my titanic brush to get and make the details I'm going to use a mixture of the dark reds and a little bit of black to get some more depth of the wound because I thought the prosthetic had a bit too much red in it too bright it was too bright that's what I wanted to say so then I am going to use some metallic powder silver for my bone and the mixing liquid and I'm gonna apply a little bit more shine on my prosthetic because you know my terminator has to be glamorous so I pop the silver on all the high points of the prosthetic and then it's time for the eyes and I'm going to use the black from my lovely little palette from Ben Nye it's so hard to apply when you have only one eye okay but I am managing so I put on a little bit of the black and I am blending it till I have a nice smoky eye and I only use a tiny bit and look at that it's so pigmented and it blends so well so I'm really 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 happy with this little palette so then I use a little bit of a highlighter on my brow bone and of course I need to do my eyebrow so I shape it in the way I want it I love this micro brow pencil I use it every single day then of course every glamorous terminator needs a bit of blush and of course a little bit of highlighter for some lashes nope I tried so hard to make it work but with one eye <laughs> nope so no lashes this time but I use one of my favorite mascaras that gives me full lashes anyway and of course I colored my waterline black with the eyeliner pencil from Ben Nye and to finish it off the beauty part I use a lip gloss and now we need some blood and I use the fresh scab from Ben Nye and a q-tip Here's a Q-tip and I will apply the blood around the wound edges and again I have to say Linda thank you for this challenge I had a blast doing this and um, if you want to send me some more challenges keep them coming <laughs> so she is ready to rock on a nice Halloween party just a little bit more blood. Thank you so, so much for watching. And see you next time. Same place, different video. Bye.